Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the simple scripts in Dynama which is will help you in daily your work life. So if you don't know anything about Dynama, this is tutorial for you because we not will talk about uh, some hard things in Dynama. All what I will show you, this is, will be basic things, it's really understandable uh, and I don't think so, you will spend a lot of the time to understand how it's working. So if you are ready, let's get started. First script, what I will show you today, it's taking the some data, for example, the name of the type of our floor and transferring this name and data to the comment or any other parameter which is you want. So why it's helping for us? For example, you have the thousand elements and you want to just copy the naming from the one place to the another place. It's helping you to do some different reason situation. Uh, for example, when you want to transfer, for example, your level to the your custom parameter of level. Why we need that? Uh, the simple because you cannot the filter by level if you have, for example, the uh, link file. Uh, Revit uh, not possible to do that. Uh, for, that's why you're creating your custom parameter, shared parameter, and after that uh, you're just transferring all your levels uh, in elements to these shared parameters and voila, you can uh, filtering by levels. So this is only just one example. So you have a lot of the parameters and you want to transfer to the comments and how you can do that, uh, let me will show you. First of all, we need to select our elements. So like uh, we have, for example, the floor, we'll just type the select uh, and you can use, for example, the category. Let's go to the inside to the selection and you will see here a lot of different categories. I mean, the type of the selection. We will use the category because I said we wanna use the our floor and we wanna transfer from the floor uh, in floors, I mean, all the parameters. Here the floor, uh, we choose the category and after that we wanna select all elements in category. So it's here, all elements of category. Let's connect one to the one. And as you can see, now we selected all floors in our project. This is pretty awesome, but it's not enough for us. Uh, we need the parameters for that. Let's write here the uh, get parameter, get. So just like this, get parameter, it's still write it together and you will see it get parameter by value and name. But we not will check it right now. We will go to the element. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, we will ch we will select our get parameter by value and name and we will connect to the element. We need to know the name of parameter. And if you don't know exactly name of the parameter, you can use this node parameters. Let me will connect it. And now once you will connect elements to the element uh, and parameters, you will see all the parameters inside your element. This is pretty, pretty cool because you will understand. For example, if you want to get the name of that, you can see exactly what the name of the parameter you need. For example, we have the here the family. It's just a floor and family and type. As you can see here is the uh, floor generic uh, 150. So we need exactly that one. You just need now code block, don't forget those quotes, and write exactly as uh, it's wrote inside the parameters. Family, family, and type, like that. And once you will connect it here, you will see now only the names of the parameter. For example, the first one, it's uh, generic 150. It's true, generic 150. So as you can see now by this script, you can see all the parameters inside your name of the parameters inside your element. By this script, you can get only that parameter which you need. Okay, you get this parameter, this is pretty awesome, but uh, now you can also do, do one more thing. Now you can set uh, the parameters uh, from, for example, this naming to the comment, right? So what we're gonna do? We need the set parameter by, by name. It's here, set parameter by name. We will do the pretty same thing. Now we will connect element, original element to the element, parameter name, we need now comments. Let me, I will write again by code block, double click. And look at here on the left side of the screen, uh, it's comments, again, just be careful with the naming comments. Okay, and let's connect these comments to the parameter name. Value, value name, it will be exactly this one. 
let me I'll connect it and it's not working why the green bottom is showing this is element it's not naming it's just element we need a transfer to the name let's choose the, this name here name and we will transfer it to the name as you can see now it's just a string just a naming and once you will connect to the volume you can see comments we get concrete domestic blah 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 and we now understand what is the uh, material is here so uh, as you can see i spent uh, for this script like one minute maybe a bit more but uh, by this script you can do everything what you want in seconds you no need to do it manually you no need to create for example the schedules you cannot create the schedules for everything here you can combine not only one category here you can combine few categories it's impossible to do in for example in schedules that's why the dynamo will help you so this is was the first script Let's say you're working with the big project and some of the architects doing the wall like this. It can be a mistake, but uh, as you understand, if you have the thousands walls like that with the intersection with your uh, floor, for example, you will get the collision. This is a really bad thing. How we can improve it? I mean, fix it. Uh, two ways you can manually uh, change, of course, the height of that uh, to the uh, right position, or you can join one geometry and the second geometry. So, and you can do it in Dynamo just in few clicks. Let's go back to the Dynamo. As you can see, this is my previous script. I will delete everything I don't need it. And we need only this one category and elements. Let's copy it. I will copy it. And now we will change, for example, the category from the floors to the wall because we want to get the wall, wall and floors. So where is the wall? Walls, it's here. And uh, let's run it. And as you can see, here is the my walls. Now we need just to join it. Join geometry, it's here. Let's use it. And as you can see, we need just connect our elements of the floor and elements of the floor. But before you will run it, you need change only the uh, crossing way, lane sync, I mean. So if you are using the automatic one, it will be by uh, shortest way. It's not will be uh, cross product. We need the cross product. We need, for example, the one wall um, can stand uh, on the, I mean, the few walls can be stand on the one floor. And that's why we need the crossing. Let's cross it and let's see how it works. Here is the, our mistake, as you can see, and let's run it. It will take a bit of time because we are using the crossing, but as you can see, the result is here. Now it's okay. Now you can, for example, give it to your client. If you will select your wall and it also will be okay without any big problem. So this uh, also you can do uh, another another thing. As you can see, we don't have here uh, the joystick. We cannot uh, change the position right now. We can do other thing, unjoin it. So it's here, unjoin geometry. Let's connect now elements to the elements and uh, let's change also here the crossing. And I will freeze this node because we don't need to join it. Just few few second time, and as you can see now it's unjoined again. So it's really helping to uh, save your time. And the last and really important script which I want to show you, and this is actually the parameters. As you know, in Revit, when we try to do something, uh, for example, let me will show you how it's working. We will select first the object. Uh, we need the selection. Uh, choose any selection what you want. For example, you can uh, choose uh, select all the elements. But I want to say I want to select only then one model element. So let me I will select something here. For example, I will select I don't know uh, this table. Why not? Let let me do it again, like this. As you can see here, the few objects like elements and uh, is the grid line. But the most problem in Revit, uh, the, you should understand which the parameter we have inside this element. Yes, you can select it, you can search it in, inside an edit type or see it on the properties, but it's not so useful. What I want to show you, we will go to the parameters, but we will do it like that. Get parameters, sorry, parameters. We will go to the inside to the element. No, we not will take this get parameters, and here you will find the really magic node. It's calling the parameters as you can see here. 
let me I will select it. Once you will select element to the element, you will see all parameters which is have the element and which they have the grid line. Let me I will open up it. And here the first one, it's the uh, element, uh, I think this is a table. We can see it, we can check it. Uh, category, actually this is a view as you can see, category, the view, architectural one, and you can see all the parameters from this first element. And second one, yeah, this is our table as you can see, it's furniture, area, so what, and you will say what's giving to us these parameters. If you have these parameters, you can do whatever you want. For example, you can, uh, if you need, uh, I don't know, if you need the number or if you need the area, you understand, okay, if I will wrote area, I will get this parameter area. So what I mean, let me I will get this get parameter, I will take it, I will connect element to the element and let's take the area parameter. If you will write here the, uh, like a string, don't forget, uh, to get the string, you need to use this one. and. Be careful with the naming. Here is the upper uh, uppercase area, and let's connect area to the parameter name. And if you will see, we get area, and it's more um, more correct than it's showing it here because here it's rounded. Here it's not rounded. Here we get exactly the area of the object. And as you can see, we don't have any anything on the uh, first the first, for the first element. Why? If you go back to the first element, we don't have the parameter area here, that's why you get nothing. But if you will get, for example, the, I don't know, let's, let's take, take some special things for the uh, views, maybe um, maybe face, no, we have the face for the, um, for the element. Uh, detail level, why not? Let me, I will use the detail level, again the quotes, and detail level i hope it's, it's both of them with the uppercase let me will see yeah detail level and let's connect it now to the parameter name as you can see now we have the other situation we like reverse it we have the parameter of detail uh, for the first element and we don't have any parameter for the second element so this is a magic one node helping you to get uh the right parameter which you need uh, later on. So use it. I think this is three simple nodes. It's really three simple nodes. So you no need any special skills. Uh, will help you in your daily life. I try to show you more some s s simple nodes um, in your daily life with the Revit and Dynamo, and I will try to uh, continue this type of the series. For now, I think this is uh, enough. Use these three notes. Maybe you have your own one special uh, special notes. Uh, tell me about it in below the video in the comments. Uh, share with us. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.